and welcome to my channel so if you saw the video prior to this um, you notice that we created this um, beautiful ritual and I share with you the details on how to work the ritual how important it is to um, use the divine name focus on the divine name today I will be sharing something with you to unblock so um and i want to touch a uh, whoops <laughs> my jojo oil i want to touch on the unblocking and why some of you guys are blocked so especially now that there's so much going on in the world and you want to be able to kind of fulfill your purposes but I want to share with you all stuff that some of you might not might not like because um, if those of you that work with me, especially when you work with me one on one, the way that I work is that I allow you to find your truth. And the only way you're going to do that is by me being as honest as possible. And sometimes you have to get frustrated and you have to get you know, angry for you to realize what, what's going on. You know, how do I change this? How do I, I work this? So today's divine energy is going to help you see and unblock. Because if you can't see the direction that you need to be, if you can't see what it is that you truly want and desire through your purpose, then you won't be able to manifest. So let's get to it. These um, energies that I'm sharing with you all are very high frequency. Not everybody's going to grasp this. And the reason for that is because we are all understanding and learning at different levels. If you are too attached to your material ways, you're definitely not going to grasp this. Because this is this is major extension. That's why a lot of you are under supreme chaos. Because, you know, all these changes, spiritual extension is going on. And 80% of the world is falling apart. Because they just lost all their control. Because the truth is we've never been in control. We feel that we have. And um, you have you know, 70% that don't, don't have a belief system, you know, because either they, they got, they're afraid of religion or they just don't like uh, authority or whatever your excuse for not, you know, for lacking faith and hope. And now this one is called, um, is your connection with divine energy. This is like you, the frequency to the allness, the oneness, and the onlyness. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you here, even though that it is number 19, I'm sharing this because I I feel like you want to be able to truly connect. And this connection is super simple. If you look, this is this is my my scripting journal which is now my scripting journal slash divine journal. <laughs> and I have three of them. I have three journals. I have the one that I share my thoughts, my feelings, my everyday life. Then I have the, the scripting, which is just pure scripting and through gratitude, like I shared before. And then this one is half scripting, half divine, but more realism of what I'm manifesting, what I'm working on, my purpose, what I'm sharing with you all. So this energy right here is the beautiful divine energy, the frequency of aligning with the allness, the oneness, and the onlyness. So we start from the right to the left. Now imagine these are my drawings. These are my paintings. This is, I'm still kind of like learning these Hebrew letters. I want to, I take them because this exercise of me writing them out and drawing them out, just like I showed you in the video before when we did the prosperity, is very powerful. 
And like I said, if you are not ready, then you're not ready and it's okay. But for those of you that are, I welcome you to this beautiful journey. And this journey will be on my Patreon. For those of you that are my Patreons, and I start my Patreons as a dollar a month. And I will share with you the magnitude of giving. A lot of you do not prosper because you don't give. And then the excuse is, but I don't have anything to give. Or if I had, I would give. So let's um, take this moment, Archangel Michael, invoke your essence and your energy as we share this divine energy with all of those that are in need and that will access this beautiful frequency as we are taking this moment to dial God, to fully connect with the Almighty. Now we start with them um, from the right and then we work ourselves to the left. And um, I want you to focus on one of the letters, whichever one you are more comfortable with. And just simply enjoy that energy. Now, as I do the classes, I will be drawing the letters and art form because I am an artist, just like I showed you with the soulmate. Those were all hand done by me. And so it's going to be a lot easier. I'm doing this because you guys are coming to me in magnitudes, overwhelmed, sadness, anger, frustration. I can't handle it. I don't know what to do. Like I, and it's just not, it's not one or 10 or 20. It's hundreds of you all coming to me at the same time. So it overwhelms me because I want to help each and every one of you. And then the thousands that do not connect, they just kind of watch and are melting. And I, I, this is the only way that I know that I could touch each and every one of you. If you allow it, because we have free will. And if we don't connect, if we don't allow, then it's all discord. So I want you to take a deep breath in, inhale, hold it for a second, and let it go. Once again, take a deep breath in, hold it for a second, completely release, let it all go, just let it all go. With each breath that you inhale all of this beautiful, vibrant God source energy. And I want you to release all of the toxins, all the lower vibrational energies, all the disease, the chaos, the anger, the depression. Just release it. Let it go. Inhale positivity, love joy, happiness, purpose, and let everything else just go. Surrender. Because once you surrender and you give, give all of the, the things that you, you are out of your hands, the things that you cannot control, just, just surrender. Let it all go. Now I would like for you to gaze upon the letters, and I apologize that they're not perfect. The first one that we see that looks almost like a B is the Hebrew word Lamed. I want you to feel that when you say, gaze upon the letter, allow the letter to share with you the divine essence and energy of God's source. Breathe in. Lamed. Just breathe it all in. Release, surrender, allow. Lamed. Now let's take a moment to gaze upon the second word, which looks like a second letter. V. 
Vav. Vav. Just allow that to fill your essence. Vav. Fill your heart chakra. Vav. Move down to your solar plexus. Allow this energy to fill you. You're right now being filled with divine light from Almighty God Source. Once again, we're going to the third letter. Vav. Vav. Allow the essence and energy to release all the toxins, all the stress. You are at one with God Source Energy. It's just you and God. You surrender, you let go, and you're allowing. Let's start in the beginning. Lamed. Vav. Vav. Allow these beautiful words to light up. See them in light just as if they were candles. See them through your third eye as a beautiful, radiant light. Lamed. Vav. Vav. Lamed. Vav. Vav. Feel the peace, the unity, the tranquility, and the unconditional flowing love from the divine into you. You are at one with Almighty God Source. Thank you. Thank you. I am blessed. Once again, breathe in and let it all go. Feel the peace and the serenity that is surrounding you at this very moment. Enjoy it. Hold it for a minute. As we gather and we go into the unblocking. So now we're going to be doing um, some unblocking. Now, this divine name, um, it says, the meditation says, so when you find yourself overcome with feelings of doubt or panic or thoughts of dooms, everything is falling apart, you know, chaos, which is what many of you are feeling at this very moment. Um, you want to You want to connect with this name because it's going to enlighten you. It's going to help you see your true purpose. It's going to help you solve the situations that you are facing. Um, it's recognizing design beneath disorder. So the great um, Kabbalists talk about the same. Um, I wrote removing blockages of money because a lot of you come to my channel and you're like well I did this and it didn't work I've done everything you said and it didn't work and then I know it works because then I talk to so many of you they're like I manifested this oh my gosh it is you know I get I get a lot of yeah I've been doing this for a long time so I do get a lot of positivity from you and then there's you know there's a few you know that's stray. And they don't understand why they're blocked. And I want to do this little kind of like meditation, healing, whatever you want to call it. Because I do a lot of distant healing. This is what this is. When I do a distant healing for you all, the reason you feel this is because this is what I do. I sit down in my now moment, in my sacred space, and I do healing. And um, some of you pay for, you know, this healing for one or two days. And I continue on because spirit tells me it's not one or two days. You need more. 
You know, healing doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, you know. You put so much strain on your body, so much stress. And then you want to wake up, you know, when you finally are falling apart, you want to wake up the next day feeling 100%. And that's not how it works. This is why sometimes even when I'm doing my spiritual work, I know that I have to, okay, so today I have to do this. And then I'll message you and be like, hey, you know what? I'm doing this tomorrow. Because I know that I need to take a moment for myself. Because I'm no good to you if I'm not doing good with myself. So that goes to say for you, because you all work just like me. We all have our purposes. We all have our careers. Why are you blocked? And the truth is, you know why you're blocked. Everyone knows what their blocks are. That you don't recognize them because you don't like the truth. That's a different story. Like a, a perfect example. I am overweight because I tend to eat after, you know, like a gremlin after midnight. <laughs> so I understand the reason I haven't lost the 40 pounds that I need to lose is because after midnight, I become striped. <laughs> Bring me the fried chicken. Um, we have to be honest with ourselves. Are you, are you being selfish? Are you not being loving? Are you being mean to someone? Are you filled with anger? Judgments? Envy? You have to look at yourself. Really look at yourself. What are you mirroring? Look in the mirror. The mirror will tell you everything you need to know. The reason why I ask you all for pictures, which I find super funny, because when I'll get the picture of your social media pic. The one they, you know, 20 years ago. <laughs> the one with all the, what is that called? I don't know what it's called. All the filters. There it is. The one with all the filters. That's not you. I was going to say no. I want you to stop what you're doing right now. And send me a picture. Because I decipher that picture for you. I see what your energy is, what's going on, what you need to work on. Maybe I'll have that as a listing in my Etsy shop. But it has to be a now picture. Like you literally have to take the picture now and send it to me when you get the listing. Not a picture you took 20 years ago or on uh, Snapchat filters. I'm not going to judge you. I don't care if your hair is three different colors. We've all gone through it. You want to know the truth. And this is why we're doing this. So today I um, I was in a shopping center. I was uh, at the supermarket. Because my granddaughters are over. So I was getting some goodies for them. And um, it's super funny because a lot of us now don't carry cash. It's like we've gone cashless, you know, and there was this kid who couldn't have been a day over 22, 23, maybe 24. I don't think he was that old. And he was on the side of the road. I mean, if you would see him, he looked like he had lost everything. He's sitting. He's not even standing like, you know, sometimes you see them on the street, you know, asking for money. No, this this kid was like. He was inside of the the parking lot, just sitting down. He's got a little sign. He said it says hungry, and he just like looked like wow. Really, you know, I could feel it. I wanted to cry. It was so bad, and I didn't have cash. So you know, I'm looking around the car. I have to find something. I have to have a gift card. I have to have something. And I look, and then you know, I have like loads of change, you know, from all the tolls and whatever when I when I do my traveling and I just literally grabbed it all and I, I gave it to I told him look because I do I sanitize the, the coins I go look they're they're sanitized um, I'm sorry I don't have cash because unfortunately all we do is use credit cards and he's like oh my god thank you you know at least I knew because Berkey was right there he could literally walk to Berkey and have an entire meal because I gave him like over five dollars and change 
What are you doing to help out your neighbors, your brothers, your sisters? A lot of us are blocked because we're so selfish and self-absorbed that we cannot see past our lives. I'm going through this. Look at my life. I'm the victim. I'm, 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 I'm. You're not looking at what other people are going through and how you can lend a hand. And then you wonder why you're blocked. And then you have the ones that give everything. All the time they're there. All the time they're giving, 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 giving. And nobody's giving to them. That's also a block. Can you work? Yes. Can you take care of my kids? Yes. Can you do this? Yes, of course. Can you do that? Of course, yes, I'll do it. Always saying yes, always saying yes. No assertiveness. No, you know, taking care of themselves. Yes, I'll do this. Yes, I'll do that. And then nobody gives them. They're martyrs. The martyr energy. So there has to be a balance. There has to be an in-between. There has to be an in-between. Giving is wonderful. I think a lot of a lot of you that come to me, um, especially those of you that have ways of giving, and they and you don't see them. This is a funny part is you'll have everybody thinks that giving is money. Oh, but I don't have money. I can't give because I don't have money. And that's like not true. If a little kid grabbed a red wagon. And went, I don't know how many miles to his destination determination to put a dent. Anybody can be a giver. And if you can watch it, that's a true story. It's called The Red Wagon. Beautiful story. You have to stop and think. What do I have to offer? You know, sometimes you're a good listener. Somebody needs, you know, and I'm not saying, like I said, don't be the martyr. Don't be the one, you know, you're going to have your moments too that you're going to need others. But there has to be an in-between. A spa moment, a day that you, you take care of yourself, that somebody comes and cleans your house or does a makeover for you, or pampers you. Allow that. And if they don't do it, do it for yourself. I'm thinking like, oh, well, I don't have any. So do it for yourself. This beautiful divine energy is about removing the blockages because we just dialed almighty I am presence. And now we're going to remove the blockages because we are aligned with God's source energy. So whatever blocks you feel, let's remove them. Now we're going to start again from the right. We have Yud. Breathe that essence in Yud. Allow it to fill you. Yud. Let go of all the blockages. Right now, they're just melting away. All the blockages are just melting away you're being cleansed and cleared you are in a spiritual wash right now let's look at the second word bet 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 absorb that essence and energy let it fill your heart chakra let it fill your solar plexus let it roll down to your root chakra, bet. Third word, yud. Yud. Sorry, <laughs> mem. <laughs> Sorry about that, mem. Maybe we needed more yud. Mem. Feel as your body. Spiritual awareness awakens. You sense your surroundings. Feel that energy. What is around you? 
What is the all I am sharing with you at this very moment? Yud, Bet, Mem. Yud, Bet, Mem. Once again, allow these beautiful divine names of God light up right in front of you. Soak them all in. Invite this essence and energy within your temple to remove all blockages. Yud, Bet, Mem. Breathe it all in. Yud, Bet, Mem. Absorb this beautiful energy. You are a brand new slate right now. All the blockages have been removed, are gone to the beautiful essence of divine energy to be transmuted into positive energy. You are cleansed, you are cleared. This is a fresh start. Yud, Bet, Mem, Yud, Bet, Mem. Many blessings to you all. I thank you for being part of this work. I send you favoritism from the all. I am that I am that I am. Allow this to fill you. Feel this divine energy. Allow the blessings. Acknowledge the path, the action, the guidance. It's all synchronized. You just have to be aware. And at this moment, you are. You know, right now you're feeling it. Archangel Michael is here with you. Cutting away all cords, psychic attacks, lower vibrational energies. Beautiful energy of Archangel Michael enfolding you in his beautiful cobalt blue energy so that you are shielded and protected as you move forward on your quest. Thank you. I am grateful of you. I am grateful for you being here. Blessing yourself and all of those that come in contact with you. Enjoy this moment. If you have your journal, write everything you feel, you see, you witness, the messages that flow. Especially if you're doing this before bed and you have those beautiful dreams, those are messages. I want to thank you to, for being part of my world. I'll link to Patreon before. If you love this, if you felt this, you are welcome to more on my Patreon. Many blessings, love and light.